Hey everybody, it's me, Super Paul Games. How are you doing? Welcome to the game, Arnie and the Hitchhiker. Credits. Uh, I'm Arnie. I'm going to tell you what happened to me today. I took a giant poop. I ate a lot of tacos last night. I love tacos. But uh, after that, uh, Noel and I had been to the theater, and gone to the bar, a bar, to have a few drinks. Uh, this is Arnie thinking. And Noel and I have been going out for about nine months. I wonder if she's ready for a sexual relationship. What? Nine months since she's not put out, sir? That does not bode well. Unless she has some religious or moral ethical thing where she's waiting till marriage. Unless that's the case. If you've been with her nine months and you guys haven't done anything sexual, I don't think it's ever going to happen, dude. Let's ask her to go home, man. Nine months, you've put enough time in to see if she likes you that way. Uh, it's getting late. Shall we go back to my place to ride the Dick Express? Arnie, we need to talk. Oh, great. Great! Shall we go to my place or yours? Oh, Arnie, you're clueless. You're clueless. Nine months and you haven't had sex and she says we need to talk? You're not getting a ride in the Dick Express. We can talk here. What I have to say won't take long. Uh-oh. I've been a part of that conversation before. How tall is she? Who boops come up to the table? She like a midget? Ernie thinking. Ah, that doesn't sound good. I I like you, Arnie, but I'm not in love with you. Ah, I think she's about to dump me. Really? What clued you in on that, sir? I think we should see other people. I hope that we can still be friends. Nine months without sex? You've been fucking someone else, or you're just lonely. Yeah, that's it? Is, is, is there another man? Is there another man? I'm okay. I'm calm. I don't want to hurt you, Arnie, but yes, I've been seeing Clyde Farnsworth for several weeks, and we've been very happy together. He's constantly filling my vag hole. I wanted to fill your vag hole. Uh, I don't think working, being friends will work out for us. Should I take you home? No, thank you. I don't want to see you again. I'll have the bartender call a taxi for me. Great. She's probably going to fuck the bartender, too. A bit later. Uh, give me another beer, would you, Frank? Uh, you've just been dumped. Drowning your sorrows in beer won't help. You need something harder. Like a dick? No, I meant like whiskey. Dog, give me another one. I don't think you need to be drinking now. Shall I call you a cab? I'm not a cab. My name's Arnie. Nah, I'll drive. Fuck you, Frank. Fuck you. A few minutes later, a few blocks away. Uh, they don't know me at this bar. I'll, I'll buy a six-pack of beer and have one or two on the drive home. Who goes to a bar to buy a six-pack? A few minutes later. Oh, no, you drank and dr This isn't my fault. The, Frank said no. This is his Arnie's fault. Damn it, Arnie. You could have killed somebody. I wrecked my I wrecked my car on the drive home. I was hospitalized for a week. Fortunately, nobody else was hurt. I received a traffic ticket for having an open can of beer in the car. The judge suspended my driver's license for six months and gave me a big fine. The end. <laughs> Use a designated driver. I love this game. At this moment, I love this game. I love how the game is like, dude, don't drink and drive. Don't be a dumbass. Talk about an unexpected but realistic ending. All right, we're going to try that again. I'm going to say I'll stop now. I'll stop now. You're right, Frank. You're only the voice of reason. Uh, I better stop drinking, man. Uh, shall I call you a cab? No, I told you my name is Arnie. Uh, I'll drive. I'm good. 30 minutes later. Uh, the GPS said I'll save a few miles by taking this road, but I think I'm lost. I think the GPS is taking you to see Jason Voorhees. They're like, here's an abandoned camp, which would be a nice place to hang out. Ah, damn it, the GPS isn't working. Ah, oh, who's that? Uh, what's ahead of me? It's uh, someone walking beside the road. She's got to be crazy wearing dark clothes. She might be a wood hooker, you know? Like when you're in the woods and you need some? Yeah, I'll honk the horn. Oh, you're going to come across as an asshole. Uh, it's a woman, woman hitchhiking. Oh, now you care. Now you care. It's like, I spent nine months on... What was her name? Areola? And she wouldn't put out. At least I can look at a woman. 
Uh, it's not safe to be hitchhiking like that. I, I wonder if I should stop. Uh, of course we're going to stop and offer to help. Isn't that the name of the... Holy boobs! Uh... Just a second. Uh, 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 almost done. <laughs> wow, she's cute. Yeah, yeah, that's what you're thinking of that moment. What you're thinking is jug, 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 jugs. I need to get a jug of milk. <laughs> I was going to say, it's the name of the game is already the hitchhiker. Uh, do you need some help, Booberella? I mean, um, hi, uh, can, can I help you with your boot? I mean, can I just help you? Oh, thank you for stopping. Yeah, I need a ride home. I got something you can ride home. Okay, hop in. Thank you ever so much. Oh, man. Wow, look at those knockers. Whoa. At least the author is, like, noticing that. Except for she's doing a derpy face. Derp. Ah, uh, should I compliment her on them? No, no. We're doing it. In real life, it wouldn't be a good idea, but we're going for it. Ah. Uh, I better not. She'll think I'm an asshole. Oh, come on, dude. Just be like, hey, those boobs, they're really fine. Uh, they make good milk for babies. <laughs> uh, so what are you doing out by yourself this late all dressed up? What, she can walking around naked otherwise? I was on a blind date. He was supposed to take me to an art movie, but it was a porn flick. Oh, great. We're a step up. I asked him to take me home. Yeah, who goes to the movies to watch porn? You do that at home, and you save that for the third date, not the first. That'd be a terrible blind date, wouldn't it? Did it? Someone would be like, hey, let's go watch porn. Uh, after turning onto this road, he stopped the car. Oh, after turning on the, to this road, he stopped the car and tried to undress me. I told him to stop. Honey, you're already mostly undressed. That's when he shoved me out of the car and took off. My purse and cell phone are still in his car. Oh, we should go call the authorities then, actually. Uh, he doesn't sound like much of a man to me. Ernie, it's not a competition thing. He's got her shit. We should take her to the cops. You're right. He's a jerk. What? She didn't realize that before? So, um, what are you doing out here? Well, she's handling it very well. If somebody had took and taken my cell phone and my wallet and all that shit, I'd be freaking out. Uh, I thought I was taking a shortcut, but I got lost. I'll bet there's more to your story than that. No. Well, I mean, yeah, there is. My girlfriend dumped me. I was feeling sorry for myself. We wanted to hurry home, so I, I, I took a shortcut. Uh, my GPS stopped working, and I'm not sure where I am. I think we're flying, because I see mostly clouds out the window. Uh, what's your name? It's a uh, uh, giant dick Arnie. I mean, Arnie. It's, my name's Arnie. What's your name, Booberella? My name is Marcella. Uh, that's a pretty name. Ernie, if it was an ugly name, would you say so? Would you be like, oh, that name's pretty poopy. Thank you. Uh, so how far is your um place? Uh, it's an old farmhouse a few miles from here. Y you'll have to make several turns. Are you a milkmaid? Because I'd like to milk. Whoa, she's got a cute accent. Should I ask her about it? Really? I sound cute. Yeah, why don't we ask about the accent? Why not? I, I noticed you have a slight accent. Let's just hope she doesn't have a speech impediment or something. Apparently, I have a speech impediment with the way I pronounce speech impediment. Uh, oh, no. She's from Central Europe! So, so what's that? You're saying she's Czechoslovakian? You're like, is that Eastern Europe? I don't know. Um, well, I, I know she has a slight accent. I like it. Central Europe, perhaps? Yeah, my parents were from Romania, and they often spoke Romanian. Uh, Romania? Uh, isn't that where Transylvania is? Are you a vampire? Would you like to suck my dick? Ha <laughs> ha! I didn't mean that. Uh, you know your geography. Yes, Transylvania is a province in central Romania. Oh, look at her, knowing all her geography. She thinks she's better than me! I like that scent she's wearing. Oh, I hope she didn't eat the other date. And she's doing derpy face again. Uh, we just met, and I don't know anything about her. It's not logical, but I'm strongly attracted to her. I wonder why. Could it be because of gigantic memories? Is this your lizard brain saying? She's got gigantic memories. If I breed with her, she will be able to feed our children and myself in the winter. Make a right turn here. Holy boobs. Uh, okay, uh, you said there are several turns. Curves. Uh, that's right. 
I'm already lost. Uh, I'll never find my way back to the highway. Can I live with you forever? Please, my girlfriend loved me. Haha, <laughs> don't worry about that. I'll draw you a map. Ah, uh, thanks. I uh, definitely need one. Oh man, she's got a nice laugh and a pretty smile. So what do you do for a living? Uh, I'm a, I'm retired. Oh, how old is Arnie? You're too young to be retired. Don't tell me how to live. Don't tell me how to live. I mean, ha, I, I worked hard for 30 years, and instead of spending money on new cars, I invested in a retirement account. Oh, so in addition to being good looking, you're smart? Ah, flattery will get you everywhere. Uh, what do you do for a living? Please don't be hooker. Please don't be hooker. Uh, my parents left me a trust fund. Uh, so, uh, why'd you live out here in the boondocks? The boondocks is a good, um, TV show. One of the stipulations of the trust is that I live in the family home. What? Did you come from some sitcom in the 80s? What? I've got to live in a ha haunted home. I understand. How do you understand, Arnie? Do you run into a lot of people? Yes, I'm rich, but I have to live in a farmhouse. My dead parents decreed it. Oh, turn left here. Holy boobs. Oh, okay. I'm sorry this is so far off the beaten path. I'm going to be beating something tonight. That's a dick joke, not a hit someone joke. Oh, I'm not good at my mental jokes. Uh, one advantage is you don't get a uh, door-to-door salesman, I bet. Ha, <laughs> you're right about that. Uh, we're almost there. Just take the next right. Uh, I've made so many turns. I feel like we've been going in a big circle. Jerk. I don't know how well you can hear it, but I really dig the background music that the uh, author chose for this. It's really kind of mellow. This is the last turn. There it is, the family homestead. Holy boobs. It's dark. It's night, Arnie. It's night. It gets dark at night. Yeah, there's a light that's uh, activated by motion. It will come on when we get onto the door. Oh, I hope she comes on to me when we get to the door. Park anywhere. Come inside. Oh, yeah, I want to come inside something. And I'll draw you a map. Well, I can figure out how to put, find places to come. Oh, how to drive out of here. Okay. Oh, man. I picked up a stone in my shoe. The door's unlocked. Go in. Uh, where's the light switch? I like the door. On the right. As soon as you go in. Oh, we're not going to get trapped, are we? Holy crap. You're tiny. You're, you're tiny. I could pick you up and put you in my pocket, tiny big boob ladies. Your mass is like ten percent of your mass is your boobs. Uh, the kitchen's very modern. I had it re remodeled recently. Can I get you something to eat or drink? Can I drink your? Bo uh, um, I could use a sandwich and something to drink, Arnie. Arnie. Okay, I get Ernie, if you like, I could use a drink. You're like, I would like a four-course meal. Are they usually three? I deserve four. I'm Arnie, and I wear sports glasses and a tie, and I want a sandwich. I can make you a hamburger. Oh, that sounds good. I have red wine and cranberry juice to drink. I don't like wine. That uh, sounds good. I better stay away from the wine tonight. No, Arnie, no. When the big butte... No, uh, maybe you're right. When you, when you meet someone and you don't know them, you don't want to get syphilis. How do you want the hamburger cooked? Um, in a frying pan might be nice. I don't know. You got a solar heater or some shit? Oh, rare, please. No, Arnie, no! That's how she likes it. Would you want it served as a steak tartare? Um, uh, I think she's a vampire. We want to get laid, and so we want to impress her and be like, Yes, please, I like it, Red. The dining room is being redecorated. We'll eat in there. Have a seat. I'll have it out in a jiffy. That actually sounds like terrible hamburger. I like it well done. But Arnie hasn't had any in so long. We're going to try and get him laid a few minutes later. Oh, look at Mr. Perfect Posture there. Uh, aren't you eating? Not now. I might have a bite later. Don't you want to call the cops about your phone and your purse that the guy took? Oh, uh, there's wine in the glass. Yeah, 
I'm sorry, but I ran out of juice. She's trying to get you drunk, honey. Go for it. Unless she's a vampire, then she's going to eat you. But whatever, man. You're not getting laid anyway. Uh, will you have some wine? I never drink wine. Then why do you have any in the house? That is suspicious. Why would she have wine if she doesn't drink any? Um, I think we better not drink. Oh, fuck it. We're going to drink it. You only live once. YOLO, bitches! Hey, the wine's pretty good! I added some spices to it. Have some more. Are they roofies? Thanks, I will. Even if I don't remember his sex, as long as I have it, it's something, finally. Sheesh, uh, how many glasses of wine did I have? Only three? Why? Is something wrong? I, I, I feel like I've had a lot more than that. You better not drive. You can spend the night here. Arnie, you're going to get some. Or be murdered. Either way, it'll be memorable. Unless you're dead, then you won't remember it. Yeah, that sounds like a great idea. I like how Arnie doesn't know her, and he's like, Yep, I'll sleep at your house. Though I guess after coming off of that terrible relationship, he's probably glad to have any kind of attention. Follow me. Before I show you your room for the night, can you help me? My zipper is stuck. Oh, yeah, I'm going to. You got a big booty. <coughs> Here, let me help. Well, that was an interesting zipper effect. Uh, there you go. It had some fabric stuck in it. Whoa! Would you like to kiss me? Dude, she's eat. Wait, wait. What? Arnie, this is suspicious. She had a guy she could have gone and made out with earlier. And she turned him down. Well, the porn thing is a pretty bad date. And she just met you and doesn't know you. And she wants to put out. What the fuck? Arnie needs some. Yes, very much so. And you have lovely eyes. That's not what you're thinking about. Mm. Oh, your lips are so soft. Mm. Kiss me again. Will you spend the night in my room? Oh, yes. You're going to get herpes tonight. Yes, Herpesaurus Rex, the dinosaur is coming to you. Moments later. Ah, uh, this is crazy. I want you. Get undressed. Oh, I don't want to see her any naked. I want you too. Whoa! Check out that giant gluteus maximus. Oh, Ernie, you're so strong. Your butt's kind of heavy. It's, 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 it's hurting my back. Uh, again, the flattery will get you everywhere, chubs. <laughs> An hour later. Whoa, Arnie is a mac in the sack. You would think after waiting that long, he'd be like one and done. But he's like, I'm a love machine. Oh, is he crying? Oh, I thought he was crying because it didn't go well. I meant to do better. I didn't know how to take off my underwear. I couldn't figure that out. I told you I could help you. I'll figure it out. <laughs> Arnie, are you awake? Ah, uh, yeah, babe. Uh, what's up? How would you like an experience like you've never had before? Uh-oh. She's gonna poop on you or put something in your buttocks. Ah, uh, sure, babe. Arnie! Arnie, what are you... Arnie, you don't know... Oh. Shut your eyes. No peeking, Arnie. Oh, no. Arnie, you idiot. Uh, okay, whatever. Please don't rip my chest hair off. Oh, no. She's a vampire. Yeah, I told you! I, Arnie, no! No. She's gonna give you one hell of a hickey. Two days later? Uh, how did I end up in a hospital? Oh, look at that little cowboy duck. Cowboy duck, you're my hero. Cowboy duck's who I see after I fuck a vampire. Cowboy duck. I want to see a let's play about cowboy duck and his adventures. <sighs> I feel weak. I have a bandage on my neck. Whoa, doctor! Pointed boobs. The doctor is very attractive. Well, honey, you was touch and go for a while. You can touch me and go. Wait, no, don't go. But I think we can release you tomorrow. Uh, how'd I get here, doctor? Ah, uh, the police found your car on the highway. You were slumped over the steering wheel. They called for an ambulance to bring you here. You had a neck wound and lost a lot of blood. Well, I'm being released tomorrow? Yeah, that's correct. 
Uh, can I take you out for dinner sometime? Whoa, you move fast. Hospital rules say I don't dang losers like you. Sorry, bitch. Aw, uh, but I won't be your patient tomorrow. Yeah, my name's Anita Reed. Here's my number. Call it up. Whoa. <laughs> what? I can't believe that worked. Arnie became a Mac. How did we... Oh, that's a bandage. I was like, you're wearing a turtleneck. That only works in France. Give me a call after your release, hot shit. What's that something up? I would like a letter arrived for you yesterday. How did they know to mail us here? Arnie, you were so kind to me, so instead of continuing to feed off you, I released you. Wow, she... It's like every other relationship, she was draining us. Oh! Don't try to find me and forget you ever met me. If you find me or tell the authorities what happened, I'll have no choice but to destroy you. Wow, I've had dates where I've got letters like that afterwards. I'll be forced to destroy you. Oh, silly lady. Maybe I can get a second date. Marcella. Uh, the ink on the note vanishes as I read the last line. Where the hell do they sell ink that knows who's looking at it? What if someone else looked at it? The end. Well, that's the end, everybody. We got laid by a vampire. Uh, we might be part vampire. We got a date with a sexy doctor. I'm going to touch your weenie. <laughs> I need 10 cc's of honey juice. Well, everybody. My favorite part of the game was Cowboy Duck. I mean, I enjoyed the story, but Cowboy Duck was awesome. If you'd like to play the game yourself, it was kind of an abrupt end. There will be a link in the description. You can see some of the other endings. And hey, Arnie finally got laid. That was way better than the drunk driving end. Well, I like the drunk driving end. That was really kind of cool to see that in a game. That Not that that's cool, but that somebody would, um, you know, put something kind of pseudo-realistic like that. Like, don't be stupid. Now, I'm going to go be stupid. Not in that way, but by recording some more Let's Plays, which hopefully you will watch. And I'll see you all later.